This is a tutorial on solving inequalities by multiplication and division. Whenever you solve an inequality for a variable and you're multiplying and dividing by a positive number, all of the same rules apply as if this was an equal sign or these were equations. So if I wanted to solve 3x is less than 24 for x, I would just divide both sides by 3 and I would get x is less than 8. If I have x divided by 4 is greater than or equal to 2 and I wanted to solve for x, I could multiply both sides by 4 and I would get x is greater than or equal to 8. So whenever you're solving inequalities and you multiply and divide by a positive number, all of the same rules apply as if this was an equation or you had an equal sign on either side of your expression. Whenever you solve an inequality with multiplication and division, and you multiply or divide by a negative number, things are a little bit different. Here we have negative 2x is greater than 16. Our first step would be to divide both sides by negative 2, and we would get x is greater than negative 8. But whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to switch your inequality sign. So our actual answer then would be x is less than negative 8. If we have x divided by negative 2 is less than 8, and we multiply both sides by negative 2, because we're solving for x, we would get x is less than negative 16. But we multiplied by a negative number, which means we have to switch our inequality sign. So the opposite of less than would be greater than, and we'd have x has to be greater than negative 16. So why do we reverse the inequality sign when we multiply and divide by a negative number? Well, let's look at this example here. We have negative 3x has to be less than 9. If I divide both sides by negative 3, I get x is less than negative 3. Now I haven't switched my inequality sign yet, and let's see what happens if we don't switch our inequality sign. Let's pick a number that's less than negative 3 and plug it back into this original equation. Let's pick x is equal to negative 4, because negative 4 is less than negative 3. And we'll plug this back into our equation. If we do that, we'll have negative 3 times x, which is negative 4, and that has to be less than 9. Now if I multiply negative 3 times negative 4, I get a positive 12, which has to be less than 9. But 12 is not less than 9. So that is why we always switch our inequality sign when we multiply or divide by a negative number. So now let's see how we can apply inequalities in a word problem. Here we have Bob is $40 and wants to buy a movie tickets at 8 bucks a piece. How many movie tickets can Bob buy? Well, first let's set up our equation. We're going to call the number of movie tickets x. So the total cost for the amount of movie tickets that Bob buys would be $8 times x. And Bob has a maximum of $40 to spend. So the cost of the movie tickets, or 8x, has to be less than or equal to $40. So to solve for x, or the number of movie tickets that Bob buys, we divide both sides by 8, and we'll get x has to be less than or equal to 5. So Bob can buy, at maximum, 5 movie tickets. And that completes the tutorial on solving inequalities by multiplication and division.